Introducing your next lucky t-shirt. Courtesy of Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right stuff, low price, every day. What do you feel like is, uh, with you and Miles this year, what do you feel like is possible between the two of you guys? I mean, I mean, our, our goal is to be the best duo in the, in the whole entire country. We work harder than everybody, I feel like, and we just push each other every day throughout throughout summer workouts, throughout spring, throughout everything, just being competitive with each other. I think that gives us a little edge. Miles has said his sack goal is 20 for the season. Do you have a number in mind? Uh, you know, I gotta, I'm a competitor, so I got to try to up him, so 21. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys have to get done in camp to build on the success and make this defense better than it was last year? I mean, like uh, like my coach, Coach Price said, he reiterates it every time we go over stuff we messed up during the season over and over again. And we're everybody knows we're the 107th run defense in the nation, so we, we definitely got to be, get better on the running. And we're we're taking big strides every day, doing the little things to get better. The guy up front does that irk you to hear 107 in the country? Oh yeah, it, it irks us, but. Uh, it is what it is. We can't we can't erase what happened last year. But our goal this year is to be one of the best def total defense in the country. Coach Jackson talked about your hard work this off season. Do you feel like you put in uh, maybe a bigger effort than you had in previous years, or anything special about this offseason? I mean, um, I always I always give my uh, my best foot forward. Uh, in the previous years, I was hurt. I was trying to rehab and get my shoulders right, and I, 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 I had good two, I had two good summers under me, and uh, I'm getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So. I feel like me being healthy helped me a lot. Since you're on the other side, what impresses you the most about Miles? I mean, Miles is probably the freakiest athlete here. Or, no, not here, in the country. So you, you, just, you just see some little crazy little things from Miles every now and then. And it's just Miles. He's, he's Miles. He's a freak. <laughs> of the young guys on the line, I mean, I guess it's really early in camp, but the young guys on the line, who's kind of impressing you with what they've done so far in full camp? Uh, I mean, I'm with, I'm with all veterans, so I, I really wouldn't know. Uh, my, my group's all veterans right now, but uh, I mean everybody's working hard on the D line, the linebacker core. Everybody's working hard, moving fast, and I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. Talk about your relationship with Coach Chavis now in the second year, having spent a whole off season with him. What's, what's the relationship like between you and him? Uh, Coach Chavis is like a father figure to us. Uh, he really cares about us, and, and you can you can tell through uh, throughout how he tells the stories, um, how he have barbecue cookouts and how he just talks to us one-on-one -on -one sometimes and you can really tell that he cares about us. When you look back on last season the way the opener went for you, is it just kind of crazy when you look back on that four sacks in the opener and then the rest of the way the ready the rest, rest of the season played out? What, what are your recollections of that? I mean it, it was, it's always fun to to uh, get to get the benefits of, of your hard work so uh, every t four sacks that's amazing. Uh, it really doesn't happen that often, but uh, I'm, I'm working to just have an even better start to my season this year. You know, it's really, what have you seen from Moten so far with kind of the long journey he's taken to get here? Can you Moten, say it again? Moten, he, he's a deep tackle, so he doesn't oh, work with it. Yeah, oh, okay. TD. Oh, D -line. oh he's, a, he's really excited. I, I talked to TD uh, a couple of days ago. I talked to him every day. Uh, we were bowling the other day. He was just telling me how excited he was and stuff. He's a big, strong kid, so I, I think he'll do good for us. Is, is Coach Price just a trip to play for? <laughs> do you have, oh. I, mean, I don't know if fun is the right word, but is it fun to play for him? Because in what we see out there, he's oh yeah, Coach he's Price. Crazy. Coach <laughs> <laughs> Coach Price is fun. He's he's very intense. He loves the game. So when when uh, when it, when we're on the field, Coach Price is gonna be in game mode. He's gonna get us ready. Um, but off the field, Coach Price is one of the coolest guys you meet. Probably the best barbecue cooker in Texas in America, so he he, he can throw down. But um, you, you guys just see the competitive side of Coach Price on the field. But he's a real good, cool guy. So a better barbecue than Coach Chavis? <laughs> oh, <laughs> tough. Pass. No comment. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Deshaun, you mentioned sacks, but you also mentioned starting. I get get better run defense. What is tackling uh, running back the line of scrimmage what, what's that going to be worth what's what's, what's that going to feel like as you try to improve this run defense I mean I feel I feel like my my front seven we can I mean my front yeah my front four we can all tackle pretty good it's just getting blockers off <coughs> and uh, just getting there easier and making the tackle so I feel like uh, when we get a little separation off the blockers we'll, we'll tackle with the best of them